Hi guys, it's uh, me, John, in Tucson. Not in Tucson at the moment. And what I'm going to attempt to do here is just give you a real quick look on a very short drive of uh, the little burg of Wilcox, Arizona that I'm staying in at the moment. And uh, the fact that this really is a two-stop light town and that's it. Uh, we're, we're coming up on stoplight number one right here. And uh, I'll just go through it. Then we'll turn around and we'll go the other direction. And I'll show you what that looks like. But you can see the architecture is very old. In the 30s and 40s. The infrastructure here is very, very worn down. Um, just not much down here in this part of, uh, of the town whatsoever, but it is what it is. It's very laid back and quiet. That's kind of cool. This is a, a train car and they kind of turned it into a restaurant, which is very cool. And let's see if we turn here. There's a little park at over here. Not bad, not bad at all. It's about the only greenery you're gonna find in this little town. And then they have uh, all these older buildings here kind of fixed up a little bit and turned into little shops, pushing whatever wares they can. Uh, let's see, let's go back this way now. Let's get us back out here to the main drive. All right, excuse me. Uh, we were not on Rex Allen. We were on Haskell. Haskell and Rex Allen are really the two main drags here. This is the old main drag, Haskell. And just, as you can see, like I said, it's just it's worn out, tired infrastructure for the most part. Um, it's kind of sad. But it is what it is. Um, my main reason for being here is because number one, it's got a weird microclimate that is much cooler than where I was in Tucson and previously Phoenix before that. This is at least 15 degrees cooler during the summer. And you can see this lovely cloud starting to build up there. But I doubt that we're gonna get anything out of them. Um, over here we've got some lovely mountains, mountain ranges, can't really see them that well, I'm sorry about that, but uh, those are the Chiricahuas, a lovely, lovely area that I want to get to as soon as possible, but due to COVID restrictions, everything's all shut down, you can't tell where you can go in the RV to, to boondock or camp overnight or anything until you actually get there and then you see that they've got big signs up saying, no entrance due to COVID. You'd think they would go ahead and update the websites letting people know that, but they don't. It just astonishes me. But yeah, again, you can see, you know, we're in a desert region. There's, there's nothing but desert around me. Nothing but, you know, almost no infrastructure whatsoever. Uh, you've got a couple of big places because this is a large farming community outside of this little town of Wilcox and we are now on Rex Allen Drive. He was a, a big namesake here. He was a country and western singer and they kind of built the name of the or this town around his reputation and he, you now he put money into the town and supported it. Did what he could do. But here we are coming into the main part of Wilcox. Um, you've got a housing development back in here that's been around for obviously probably about 40, 50 years or so. Not very big. Uh, I think there's maybe 15,000, 20,000 inhabitants here. But you've got the damn dollar stores, of course, a couple of those, those are mainstays. There's a little itty bitty community hospital here. 
that's where I went to have my earbud removed from my ear. You know, of course, Pizza Hut and all that crap. Circle K convenience store. And there's only one grocery store. And that would be up over in there at Safeway. It's a stoplight number two. <laughs> and now we're gonna go up and over the Interstate 10. Well, I lied, we've got a stoplight up here on the interstate, but that doesn't really count as far as I'm concerned. And we'll whip on over to the other side of this and I'll show you what exists over there and that's pretty much it for Wilcox, Arizona. There's nothing else here, nothing. It's amazing. Uh, let's see, let's just kind of get over here. Wow, boy, that air conditioning in the car feels good. Okay, and here we are. We've got a hotel sitting out over there, Holiday Inn. We've got a Super 8 motel over here that has no customers. And this thing that says TA, well, you probably can't see it now, it's behind bushes and stuff. It's a truck stop. It's a kind of a, a truck stop chain and uh, this is pretty much it once you get past this and keep on rolling you go out into uh, farm country you know big apple orchards and things like that but yeah this is it guys <laughs> this is it that's all there is to this little town there is nothing else here Nothing. It's pretty crazy. But it's alright. I don't mind it at all. Like I said, I wanted a slower lifestyle and this affords me that small that slower lifestyle. No stress. No baloney about COVID and what's going on and people stressing out about it. I have to wear a mask, but I don't want to wear a mask and blah blah blah. Civil rights on and on and on. People do what they're asked to do here. No arguing, no baloney. The people of this community are excellent. They're people of the earth. They're farmers. Um, community has a lot of Mormons in it, which are generally known to be amazing people to be around, a great deal of integrity. And uh, yeah, I've got nothing bad to say about this, this little town at all. And uh, I think what's probably going to happen, because our, our lot rent in the RV park that we're staying in is so inexpensive, this is going to become our year-round home base. And we'll be able to just take off in the RV for a couple weeks at a time and always have a place to come back to that we can afford, that's comfortable, where we have all the conveniences that we need, you know, pharmacy, grocery store, Dairy Queen, of course, very important. <laughs> but uh, it's just, it's the laid back lifestyle here that really has me. I just, I love it. Can't complain at all. And then we go back through the uh, interstate light down to light number uh, one again, if you will. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot here, but uh, I'm loving it. You see, there's another hotel over there. It's pretty much empty. Got to have McDonald's. God knows. Can't live without those. Um, Carl's Jr. Restaurant. Got to have that. But uh, other than that, and uh, I think a Burger King. Those, well, and you've got a, a Pizza Hut. Those are your choices for fast food. That's it. There are, I think, three other standalone restaurants but I can't tell whether they're open or closed so anyone's guess there but yeah pretty much whatever you need is is right here in this little burg you know you've got auto parts over there you've got a large hardware store over here that serves the ranching community another auto parts store there 
little dentist office, little optometrist optomet office. But there's really not much else around here. There just isn't. If you want to get to any real infrastructure, you have to drive at least 35 miles one way to the next larger town, which is called Benson, or 80 miles to Tucson, where I'm from, which I'll be doing next uh, next Monday to go to a doctor's appointment. Now see, look at this, it's just it's scrubby. There's nothing pretty about it. You know, big old vacant lots full of weeds and that's about it. And uh, this is where we live, in this little RV park called Grande Vista. I guess it's been here for quite a while. And it's not very big. That up there with the red Mustang and the little green John Deere Jeep, that's the uh, RV park owner. He's an amazing guy. You talk about laid back and easy to work with, he's fantastic. You know, and then you've got uh, some older mobile homes that are just kind of here all the time. They're not the prettiest things I've ever seen, but again, the lot rent is so inexpensive, you really can't beat it. You just can't. And then here's where we're located back here. This is the back row for RVs. There's my RV, and you can see all the way down at the end. There's nobody else. It's just us, and it's this way all the time, which is amazing to me. We've got full Wi-Fi broadband, uh, full hookups with electric and dump and water and all that fun stuff. And this is just kind of our hangout here on the side under about the only tree you can find around here. But, uh, you know, we're stuck inside at the moment because it's nasty hot outside. Anyway, guys, I just want to say hi, see what you're doing, kind of take you on a little quick tour of our little home at at the moment. Taking the RV to get the rear anti-sway bar bushings put on on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So I'll have to get it in travel mode and pull in that little portable window air conditioner and unhook everything, but yeah, it'll take me five minutes and down to the mechanic, get her done, and come on back here. And then we're going to plan our first actual boondocking trip, which I will definitely be filming. I've got um, the proper cords that I need for my expensive camera and video camera that I did not have. I didn't realize they didn't come with a camera. So hopefully my future videos are going to start looking much better. I paid a fortune for that uh, Canon EOS T7. And uh, let's see if it holds up. At any rate, guys. Oh, there's a little park at over there on the other side of those weeds. You can't really tell, but this cute little park with the green grass. That's really about it, guys. <laughs> Hope you're all having a great day, and uh, stick with me. More videos to come. Take care, guys.